Our fifth graders are creating their own breakout EDU boxes, and then we'll use the design thinking process to design a breakout EDU game of their own. This video will show you the process my students are taking to make their boxes. I hope you enjoy it. Students were provided with the following. Six boards. Two sides that were 13.6 by 13.6 centimeters. Two sides that were 11.3 by 12 centimeters. And two sides that were 13.6 by 12 centimeters. They were also provided with keys and a lock, a hinge, a hasp and staple, nails, screws, screwdriver, hammer, an impact drill, a Dremel with a shaving bit and a cutting bit, drill bit, and hot glue guns. So here's how you create the box. First form the box so that you know how to put the different boards together. Make sure that the opposite sides have the same measurements. Second, place the largest side, the 13.6 by 13.6 board, flat on the table. Take the second largest side, the 13.6 by 12 centimeter board, and hot glue it onto the large board. Make sure the edges of both sides are matched up perfectly. After the glue has dried, which should take about a minute, you will mark where you would like to nail the boards together with a pencil. You will then create a pilot hole using an impact drill. This will make hammering a lot easier for your students. Make sure to place the other board under your L-shaped piece as support. When drilling, you will want to hold onto the trigger as you bring the drill bit out of the boards. Next, place a nail into your pilot hole. Use your hammer to tap the nail into the board holding your nail with your finger and thumb. Once the nail is stable, you can place your hand away from the nail and start hammering the nail into the boards with more force. I've told my students to never raise their hammers over one to two inches away from the nail when hammering. Going any higher lowers their accuracy, which can cause injuries. Once you have hammered your nails, it is time to hot glue another board to the other pieces. You will repeat the cycle of hot gluing boards, creating pilot holes, and hammering in nails until you have a box like this one. The last piece, which is the other large board, will be the lid of the box. You will need to connect this board to the box with a hinge. To add the hinge, line up the hinge onto the edge of the lid and any side of the box. You will then mark the holes with a pencil. Use a Dremel with a cutting bit to create small holes. This will make it easier for your students to screw in the hinge. Place the hinge over the small holes and start putting in the screws with the screwdriver. Once you are done, it is time to attach the safety hasp and staple. You will mark the areas for the hasp holes at the bottom surface of the lid. Again, drill small holes with the Dremel with the cutting bit, then screw in the hasp with your screwdriver. You will find that the screws do not fully disappear into the boards, and when closing the lid, you will find a big gap. Here you will use the Dremel with the shaving bit. Use this to shave a bit of the top so that the lid closes properly. Once this is done, you will make marks for the staple. Create small holes, and then screw in the staple onto the side. Last, attach the lock to the staple. Now you have a breakout EDU box. All you need to do now is design a game. Good luck. I'd like to thank Becca Guess, Mike Bycraft, and Aaron Curtis for helping me with this project.